You must know and understand your business like the back of your hand. Otherwise, your company would be here today, gone tomorrow. I wasn't lucky. I worked hard to achieve the goals I set for myself. I was rich before I was 30, and I had everything my family and I needed for the rest of our lives. I could have retired. Businessmen must move with the times. The correlation between knowledge and business as the key to success is closer than ever. Broaden your vision and maintain stability while advancing forward. That is my philosophy. Reputation is the key to success. You have to be loyal to your customers. If you think, then you will be prepared. If you are prepared, then you will have no worries. Our principal policy is never to take financial risk. It doesn't matter how strong or capable you are. If you don't have a big heart, you will not succeed. Buying land is not like buying antique. It is not the only deal available. Treat people with sincerity and build a good organization. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how famous or how capable you are. I never forget to maintain stability while advancing, and I never forget to advance while maintaining stability. Stability and advancement must always be in balance. I always had a fighting heart. I only had a small amount of capital when I started my own business. I have set boundaries for myself. There are certain business I won't get into. This is my principle and I will stick to it. My life philosophy in two sentences. It's an ancient Chinese saying. Always be industrious. The virtuous welcome onerous duties. This is my life. I see improvement ceaselessly. I don't stop, even at this age. My biggest hope is that when China becomes wealthier, the rich people and those all around Asia will donate more to charity. I was once an employee myself, so I know what employees want. Having money doesn't mean you'll be happy, but the reality is you can't do anything without money. I realized that despite being wealthy, I wasn't happy, as I'd expected. I was perplexed. For a few nights, I went alone, to a quiet road, a dead end.
Actually, before I was even 30, I was wealthy enough that my entire family wouldn't have to work for the rest of their lives. I wasn't lucky. I worked hard to achieve the goals I set for myself. I started my own business in 1950. I only had some of my savings and some money borrowed from my relatives. I had about $6,500 to start my business. I think you must use a Western management model, but then in terms of internal philosophy, I adopted the most useful parts of the Confucian school of thought. Just because you're doing well now, doesn't man you should be set in your ways. My business had the fastest growth when I was around 27 to 30. It grew exponentially. When I was young, I enjoyed studying. I want even 10 when I got into junior high. I was working and studying at the same time. So it was a race against time to learn more. Doing business may be tough, but I am willing to learn, to innovate, and to work hard. Which are the reasons why my business can continue to grow? I have always understood that the world changes a lot. I'm always very careful with my cash flow. That means I have the extra capital to get into another industry whenever I want to. 